Hello and welcome to One Word Podcast, the most unpredictable podcast in the world. Today I am here with Rhonda Sitnikow. Thank you for pronouncing my name correctly. I, 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 I've tried many times before and failed, so I'm glad I get it right this time. Uh, Rhonda is the host of Political Radar, one of our other podcasts. Can you tell us about Political Radar? Oh, Political Radar, yes. Where we ha- where have we been without that podcast? <laughs> you get 30 minutes to come on our show and tell the world who you are, what you're about. Unscripted and uncensored, by the way. And it's politics, lots of politics. A lot of politics, um, local, state, and national. So, Rhonda, the way this is going to work is I'm going to give you two words, mm. and you get to choose one of them, and we're just going to talk about that word. Sure, right on. Sounds good. All right. So your two words are insane (laughs) and liberal. Oh. Yeah. Interesting, huh? Insane and liberal. Insane and liberal. Okay. And so we're just going to go around and talk about something about that word in general. We're going to... You get to choose one. Okay. And you can say whatever you want about that word. Okay. So do you want insane or liberal? I want insane. Ooh, insane. Mm -hmm. Now, why did you not choose liberal? Well, how much can you really talk about liberal? I, I think a lot, but... I think there's many things that are insane. There can, are a lot. I can of... list probably 25 things and use up and chew up a bunch of your um, airtime. Do it. With insane. 25 insane things. Let's go. Okay. What is insane? I think it's insane that we have a democratic process that relies on basically who raises the most money. All right. So... Corruption and money in politics. That's insane. That's insane. Uh, th- I definitely agree. It's insane. Uh, there's a lot of craziness out there. See, uh, this isn't political radar, but we're still in politics. Because everything can be political. So what else is insane? I think it's insane that women get paid less than men do for the same job. Absolutely true. I, I think equal wages are not only something that should be encouraged, but I think they're a right. I think it's insane that we actually have to get married. Why can't we just have like, you know, I don't know, a lease program (laughs) where we come together (laughs) with finances and, you know, in a marriage state, have you, but then you get, you know, hey, it's a five-year lease and then you get to actually decide, do I want to renew my lease or don't don't I? Maybe I'm going to behave better and be more proactive (laughs) in this agreement or lease. And then at the end of the day, I'm going to say, you know what? I don't really want to lease this anymore. Are you saying we should have like an Airbnb for marriages? (laughs) That's not a bad idea. (laughs) All right. I think that might be a little bit insane. What do you think is insane? Uh, I know something that's insane. The iPhone 7 not having a headphone jack. That's insane. You know what's insane? That people think it's completely fine to take... I'm not a big fan of those. uh, It's like the wireless earphones. Mm -hmm. There's no way. And it is insane to think that you're not getting all kinds of radioactive waves into your brain (laughs) with those wireless I think you, uh, no offense, but I think you might be a little insane. Because I think that that's actually not happening. Or do you don't think that's happening? I think it's actually happening. I, I honestly don't. But I guess that's a debate to have. I think we need some scientists in the house. To really talk well, about scientists that. have proven that you actually have your um, phone to your to your ear. That that's um, not necessarily a good idea. So why would an ear, you know wireless ear earpiece not be doing the same thing? Well, it all depends on the type of. Like, I don't even like the Fitbit. Way. I think the Fitbit's insane. Really, do you have to count your <laughs> steps every day to, to know that you're actually in shape? How about I spent an hour doing that, or I spent 15 minutes doing that? Yeah, you know, something really insane. Some people have accused uh, schools who give those out to their like kids for like health programs of using them to track if those kids are sexually active. That's insane. Was that David Vanderlees that said that? I don't know. Because he can be insane. <laughs> there are a lot of insane things in the world. What's something else that's insane? What is Airbnb. insane? Oh. <laughs> are you insane? Um, I think... I think if you're not a little bit insane, then you're just kind of beige and you're not, you're not really living life. So what does being insane mean to you? Being insane. Oh, I don't know. That I've done a few things that have been insane. I think actually someone told me I was insane. Yeah, I, you're, you've only had one person tell you you're insane? No, I get had, that daily. I've had a few people that have said that. But um, if you have a good pain tolerance, you're insane. <laughs> um, what would you say is... Rather, who 
would you say is one person in our culture in the United States who's insane? Well, the obvious. I'm not going to. Oh, the obvious. Right. Come on, say his name. Every time you say his name, we get paid $5. I actually don't think he's insane. I think he's a genius, but he's just, you know, he's marketing off of being, uh, I guess, he's marketing off of being insane. Yeah. yeah. So it's the idea of being insane. I don't know if he's insane. I, I don't think so. I think he's a, I don't want to say smart, but I think he's good with strategy, and I think that's his marketing strategy. He's a great salesperson. Yep, being insane. Mm -hmm. And do you think that because he acts insane, the, his followers are insane people? I think that the, the term insane has a different meaning. So if you go to um, Baltimore, there is the Visionary Museum, right? Mm -hmm. And this place actually has, this is really cool, by the way. Um, it's a place where people that were, I guess, labeled insane back in the 1920s, they have artwork in this in this museum and they have a guy who was insane right but really he was just really focused so you can be insane and that can actually mean that you're really focused he built the titanic which is probably the size of this room out of matchsticks and it looks exactly like it what? but he was insane he was labeled insane but that's what he did because he was just really focused so insane can mean i think a lot of different things so is being insane a bad thing or a good thing? If, well, it depends on the situation. Ah, a sane, okay. Insane can be you're just incredibly motivated and obsessed with something. So is that your type of insane? The in type of insane you are? Me? Or are you the <laughs> insane? I don't know if I've ever made those noises. but <laughs> Well, I did, so I guess but I'm I hope, that insane. But I hope to someday. All right. Um, no, I think it can be a good thing. All right, well... Wow, this has turned into a really, really deep discussion. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any final thoughts on, on insanity? Word? Insanity, insaneness? <sighs> um, I think that, oh boy. I think the idea of this one word podcast could be insane in a good way. <laughs> it's really focused on random words. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Was well, Jacob's idea, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you very much, Rhonda, for coming on. And so happy be to be here. Being a little bit insane with me. Anytime. All right. Well, we would love to have you back on the show. Love to be back. If you guys have any uh, suggestions for insane words you want us to use in this podcast, let us know. <laughs> uh, and I guess we'll see you guys next time. Bye, crazy people. Are you going to make that noise?